All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at creating a design profile. So in the last video, we created this profile view with the existing ground profile. So now we're adding in this design profile, which is the elevation of the center line of the road when the road is built. That's what it represents. So let's go ahead and open up the drawing you were working on from last time. So it should look like this. Just zoom into your profile view. And what we're going to do is just draw a line. So just start the line command. And we want the elevation of the center line of our road to be at 150 feet. So I'll just zoom in here with my node object snap turned on. I'll click there at that location. And then come on over here. I'm going to reference the endpoint of my existing ground. And I want this line to stop at that endpoint. So something like that. Straight horizontal line. After we get it drawn in, we just need to convert this into being a profile. So I'll come up to the Home tab on the ribbon, click on Profile, come on down to Profile Creation Tools, click on that. It, Civil 3D wants me to select a profile view, so I'll just move into my graphics area anywhere and select on that profile view. And then this Create Profile dialog box comes up for the name. I'm going to make the name Weber Parkway. hyphen proposed for my profile style I'll just use design profile for profile layer I'll click on my layer icon it takes me out to this object layer dialog box I'll click on that same object layer icon again it takes me out to my list of layers and I'll scroll down here and find C road profile so I'll select it and hit OK my object layer dialog box I'll hit OK again and then for my profile label set I'll change it to be no labels and then hit OK. So from that, I get this profile layout tools toolbar. And I'm going to use this convert AutoCAD line and spline. So I'll click on that icon, click on my line, and then hit enter. And now that's my design profile. So I can go ahead and close out of this toolbar. And that's all I needed to do to create my design profile. So in the next video, we'll take a look at how to create an assembly and then use that assembly to merge all this information together to create a corridor. So thanks for listening, and the assembly video is next. Thanks.